This video is on my favorite proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says, in any right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Or another version of that, the squaw on the hippopotamus is equal to the sum of the squaw on the other two hides. But I'll, I'll get into that one later. So uh, another way people write it is a squared plus b b squared equals c squared. So if we have a right triangle right here, where this side has length a, this side has length b, and this side has length c, we want to show that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But why? Why is that the case? So here is President Garfield's proof. He, he copies this same triangle here. Here's length a, here's length b, here's length c. We'll call this single slash, this double slash, so these are complementary. Here's the same triangle, single slash, double slash, so these are complementary, so this is a right angle. So he forms this trapezoid. So the area of the trapezoid is one half, is the average of the bases, which is a plus b, half a plus b is the average of the bases times the height, a plus b. And we can also do that by adding up the areas of the three triangles. We've got this first triangle here, one half AB, this second triangle here, one half AB, and this triangle here, one half C squared. So if we multiply this whole thing by two to get rid of the halves and expand this, we get A squared plus two AB plus B squared equals two AB plus C squared. Cancel that guy and we're left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that's a really cool proof using um, the area of a trapezoid. But now let me show you Einstein's proof. Here's Einstein's proof of the Pythagorean theorem. So we have a right triangle like this with sides a, b, and c. So we wanna show that a squared, which is the area of this square, plus b squared, which is the area of this square, is equal to c squared, which is the area of this square. So if we could somehow make it obvious that the area of this square plus the area of this square could cover that square, that would show it. But we don't have to necessarily use squares. We just want to find some geometric object such that uh, the, a length who, who has an area whose length squared is proportional to the edge sizes. So we can do that with this triangle here. Instead of drawing the triangles on the outside, we're going to draw them on the inside. So it's very clear that um, these two triangles, when added together, cover the whole triangle. And the area of this triangle is proportional to a squared. The area of this triangle is proportional b to b squared. And the area of the whole triangle is proportional to c squared in exactly the same way, since they're all similar triangles. So that's the drop the pen Einstein solution. And if you really want to see the details in that proof, the area of the small triangle is 1 half a times a over c times b times a over c. The proportionality constant for the small triangle is a over c. For the medium triangle is 1 half a, b over c is the scale factor times b, b over c. b over c is the scale factor because b is the hypotenuse of the medium triangle. And the area of the total triangle is 1 half a, b. So if we divide the whole equation by 1 half a, b and multiply through the denominator the denominator is c squared, multiply through by c squared, we'll get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that says the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle equals the area of the whole thing. And that's Einstein's proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Thank you very much.